and handheld today, and I don't have a gimbal. You don't like it? I don't know what to tell you. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're working on the amp. Well, I've been working on it for the past week, about four hours a day. Taking my time, because this is um, a really complex project. But we're approaching the end, and I wanted to share with you guys what's been going on. So here's the chassis. This is the front panel. Here's a standby switch, fuse, power switch, power indicator. This is our uh, tone control. Right now we just have a tone control. I'm going to add in the uh, bass and treble controls once I have this part working. We have channel 1 volume, channel 2 volume, channel 1 inputs, this is the attenuated, this is the straight in, and channel 2 attenuated and straight in. Now if we come down here and look at the back side of the amp, this is our rectifier socket for the 5YG3 I think it's called. These are the power tube sockets for the 6L6s. There are the outputs for an uh, internal and an external speaker. And if you look real closely here, this is a switched jack. So when you pop your uh, quarter inch jack in here, it presses that switch down. Now what that means is our external speaker jack over here won't work unless there's something plugged into the internal jack. Then we have our phase inverter over here, which is a 12AX7, and our preamp, which is another 12AX7. And then we have the uh, turret board here. So I thought we might go over a little bit of the wiring here and talk about how all of this goes together. So let's start here at the inputs. Now up here, we have our two input jacks. These are the attenuated channel 2, attenuated channel 1, and then on the bottom are the straight throughs. And they are attenuated with these one, come on focus, one meg resistors. Now they feed in to the circuit board right here. So there's our channel 2 input and they both come through these 68k resistors. Over here is our channel 1 input feeding in through these 68k resistors. And then they are going to come out down here we have these caps these are point uh, I think 01 microfarad and then they are going to go into our preamp Whoops which is over here. Let's talk about the preamp for a minute. So our preamp in this case is the 12AX7 tube and it is a dual triode. So you see we have two separate sets here. Now here we have plate 1 which feeds there and then we have cathode 1 which goes there and grid 1 which goes there. Over here we have plate 2, cathode 2, and grid 2. And then we have our filament heaters. These two are hooked together like that. Goes there. And that goes there like that. So those are our connections going to the 12AX7. And then if we take a look at the wiring diagram, you can see how this all goes together. So here is our preamp tube. Come on. Stay in focus. So there's pin 1. Kind of hard to get this all into one shot here, but I'm going to try. So pin 1 is plate 1. And that comes up here and goes to this output here between the 0.01 cap and a 100k resistor 
and that is right right there at that junction and that feeds into our plate one uh, pin number two is our gate and that's coming off right here and it feeds up into this 25 microfarad cap which goes directly to ground so that is right over here that's this guy here follow up here you follow that green which goes to the grounding pin on one of those jacks which they're all grounded along that front panel there now pin number three Verse number three, that is our cathode for gate number two. And that comes over here, which goes to number eight and goes back through there. I'm not going to go through this whole thing with you, but you can see the complexity of wiring this. My biggest problem that I faced in doing this is that I can't read the pin numbers on here. They just really don't exist. I mean, they're on there. But they're almost impossible to read. Let me take a look at some of them. You just can't read it. So what I had to do was just reference it. Do up one. There's pin number one. Where's pin number one go? And then boom. You know, we put that in there. And then I just had to count. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight. And that's nine. So that's where we're at so far with this. If we look at the low voltage input side here, you can see our, uh, our tone control here with the cap to roll off the trebles. Feeds into volume one, and there's volume two. And they are going to go down and get into the grids here. That's where our volume controls come in. They are the grid between. Uh, the first stage and the second stage and you can see that on the original uh, fender amp design here we're using a 12 AX7 as opposed to the AY7 for our first but here we're coming in you can see we're coming out from the plate and through that first control and then going back into the plate from the second one then we come out over here and here are the ones rolled off to ground to control our tone. So that's how that works. And then we come into here, and this is going to be our phase inverter, the second 12AX7, which is going to feed a positive going signal to one of the output tubes and the negative going signal to the other output tubes, which feeds the output transformer. And that gives us the push-pull, lets the tubes run cooler longer and allows there to be more power. Where we're at, and I'm out here in uh, Studio 1B, which is of course the kitchen, and I'm using this uh, vellum and soldering iron that I showed you guys in a previous video, and it's working out uh, pretty well for all this. This is incredibly heavy. Hopefully by next week, we will have it all wired. So, just wanted to share with you guys the process and where we're at. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to you guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.